What's up guys, it's Haya Anime here, back with another draft profile. Today we're going to be taking a look at our second point guard back to back, and that is going to be Kasumatsu Yukio from Kaijo High. Weighing in at 146 pounds, standing at 5 foot 10 or 1.78 meters, Kasumatsu is 18 years old as of the draft. Now at first glance, his metrics don't seem to stand out that much, but I do think it needs to be said that he's actually one of the taller point guards. The only point guards that I know of that are actually taller than him available in the draft are Imiyoshi from uh, 2 Academy and then Kasuga from Seiho High. Now taking a look at his skill graph, he's actually a very well-rounded point guard. Looking over there, the only thing he really struggles on is that top left category. That's his special ability. His physical ability comes in as a 4 out of 5 star, his technique 4 out of 5 star, and his stamina 4.5 out of 5 star. So the only thing he's really lacking in there is that special ability. Taking a look at the strengths that stand out most to me, number one is going to be his speed. Other than the Miracles and the Kings, I've got to assume that Kasumatsu is probably one of the fastest guys available. Even pairing him up against some of those Miracles and Kings, he's definitely going to outrun a couple of them. Next up is his ball handling. He's an incredible point guard. He takes care of the ball well. And when you pair that ball handling up with his speed and his ability to get to the basket, he's a lethal threat when it comes to driving to the basket and getting past that main defender. He's also reliable from deep. You're not able to sag off him and try and prevent him from driving to the hoop. If you sag off too far, he is just going to be able to pull up and hit that three-pointer or that deep two. And one of those intangible strengths that not every elite player has is his great leadership ability. We've seen him lead Kaijo even though he necessarily wasn't the best player on his team. So having him as your main point guard, he's going to be able to command the ball. He's going to be able to be a good ball distributor. He's going to be able to get active in the game and not necessarily need to be the primary scorer. Now let's actually go to the tape to look up some of those strengths. Number one, a two-parter here. In the first part, he's going up against Hizaki from Fukudo Sogo Academy. He gets past Hizaki with a great move, tries to go up to the basket, is actually met at the basket by Hizaki in a great recovery on defense. Kasumatsu, though, sees the man open on the three-point line. We can't see the ball in frame here, but he goes up, gets challenged at the rim, and dishes the ball out. That's a solid example of being able to drive to the basket and not necessarily score, but make the play and find the open man. Another example here in their matchup against Serene High, he's actually able to finish strong over Kiyoshi, who's a solid, bigger defender. He takes the hard contact, still able to finish the saucy layup. And lastly, he makes a great defensive play against Kuroko's phantom shot, able to actually read the shot and stop it, not something a lot of players know how to do. Now taking a look at some of his weaknesses, that first one, he doesn't possess a special ability. He's a very well-rounded point guard, but there isn't anything that he necessarily excels at better than everyone else. Part of that kind of leads into the second weakness as he struggles against better competition. Because he doesn't have any special ability, when he's going up against better competition, he is limited by his own peak. And lastly, that third one kind of leads into the previous two. He's a solid all-around player, but he doesn't excel in one area. He's going to be a solid pick, but you're not necessarily going to want him to be the guy that you rely on offensively. Keep in mind, whenever we show these weaknesses on the tape, we're just nitpicking and cherry-picking instances where they get beat. It doesn't necessarily mean they're a worse player or were beaten by the other person. It's just in that single instant, in the one play out of hundreds that happened in a basketball game, they had just gotten the best of them. First example here, he's going up against Shunazuki of Seirene High. Now, because they know that he has those two go-to moves, the pretty much the drive and that shot, they know if they can counter that and they kind of trap him there, they allow Azuki to get beat, but he is getting beat and then he reaches back with that eagle spear and is able to knock the ball away. Now, this next one is from their scrimmage with Seirene High. Uh, I don't know how much weight you want to put into a mistake that happened early on in the season during a scrimmage. However, it does need to be pointed out. He gets the ball stolen by Kuroko. 
and he actually happens later on in the season in their actual match. The ball gets stolen by Kiroko again. Uh, Kasumatsu not normally careless with the ball, just a couple instances there where he does get the ball stolen by potentially what you might call a better player. Overall, Kasumatsu is a great, solid point guard. I've got him going in the third or the fourth round. I think it's going to be that late third, early fourth round, if the fourth round at all. Um, he's going to be a top 25 pick for sure. I think he's going to be the third or the fourth point guard taken. Now, what makes Kasumatsu a great pick is he is a solid starting point guard for where he could be selected. Being able to wait until the third or the fourth round to pick up a point guard who is still going to be a solid starter, I think that's a really good benefit of maybe looking for him to be the point guard. He is a more traditional point guard who is going to be passed first, so waiting until the third or fourth round, you're able to secure maybe your primary score, maybe that second option even, and then fill in that point guard ball distributor role with Kasumatsu. Similar to his time at Kaijo, I think he would pair well with an athletic forward, someone who's able to get open, get to the net, and is able to finish strong at the net. I don't think, however, that we would want him to be paired with a weaker shooting guard. He's not able to contribute in the backcourt alone. He's a solid player, but he doesn't necessarily excel offensively or defensively. So I think it might be a bit of an issue if he were to be paired up with a lackluster shooting guard and the entire weight of the backcourt was put on his shoulders alone. So I think having a solid two-way shooting guard would be the best way to make him effective. Now next up is the NBA player comparison. My mind went to a lot of different places thinking about Kasumatsu. He's got that quick first step, he is one of the faster players, and he's able to drive and get to the net relatively easily. So a couple players that came to mind were uh, guys like Derek Rose, Dwayne Wade. Uh, eventually, I think those guys were a bit of a tier above what Kasumatsu is, so I settled on John Wall. Now, John Wall is a great point guard. I don't necessarily know if you would call him elite. For a couple years there, he was probably a top five point guard in the league. I don't know if he ever would have said that he was a top two point guard, so I think that's exactly where Kasumatsu fits is right in that top five range. A couple reasons why um, that quick first step, both guys are incredibly fast and incredibly shifty. They're great at getting to the basket. Both guys are reliable shooters. They don't rely on getting to the basket. Young Derrick Rose was primarily getting to the basket and finishing over those bigger guys. He wasn't necessarily known for his shooting, so that's another kind of disqualifying factor why I didn't pair him up with D-Rose. And lastly, they're both solid all-around point guards, not quite elite. Derrick Rose, obviously one of the youngest NBA MVPs. John Wall, just a tier below. I'd love to hear everyone else's thoughts, though, if you think there is someone else who is a better comparison for Kasumatsu than John Wall. Let me know. I'm always interested to see how other people think these guys rank up with NBA players. And that is pretty much it, guys. Thank you so much for tuning in and all your support. I hope everyone has a good day. Peace.